everybody. I'm Bruce Pond. Ocean Protocol. Raise your hands. You all have a phone. What's more valuable, the phone or the data in the phone? Everybody, when I try this, um, they say it's data in the phone. And data drives our economy. It's the most valuable resource that we have. And it's not being used. On one hand, we have lots of organizations that have data locked up, and it's designed to be locked up. On the other side, we have a lot of AI researchers and startups that can't access data. They can't find it. And in the middle, we have companies like Fa Facebook, Amazon, and Google who have both AI expertise and the data, and they're able to make advances ahead of others and make, um, uh, make new products and services. And so what Ocean is trying to do is to frack the data and make it available for everybody, AI researchers, data scientists, so that we can get more value out of that data. And it means what we need to do is to enroll enterprises to share their data safely with their control, with transparency. It means that we need to enroll AI researchers and scientists to onboard and start consuming data. And it also means that we need to get um, developers to start building services to help start an ecosystem around data. So what is Ocean? It is essentially a proof of data blockchain. It's a set of proofs that prove that data was published, that it was ingested, it was processed, it was consumed, it was shared. Um, we sort of Merkle roots of data and, um, or another structure for database compatibility. We have global consistency in the data and then we provide integration for currently scattered clusters of data. So for instance, in today's world, most of the data is in like an Oracle, SAP database, MongoDB, or in a, in a cloud, it could also be in decentralized storage or something like a big chain DB cluster. And what Ocean is trying to do, it's not trying to be a data marketplace. It's not trying to store your data on a blockchain. What it's trying to be is just a, a blockchain that tracks um, data and how it's being used. And in this way, we can tr start connecting marketplaces um, to the protocol and allowing the marketplaces to make available data for consumption. We're gonna have a token distribution where we have 1.1 billion ocean tokens, limited and capped forever. 1.41 billion, it's the total volume of water on Earth in cubic kilometers. The symbol is OCN. We're releasing 15% of the tokens for exchange. Um, hard cap uh, public token exchange dates, they're all to be determined. Um, our network launch could be in 2018, but for safety, we're saying first quarter in 2019. And it's a, a utility token. So it's indivisible from the network, the protocol. It actually has utility in that. It is the um, means of exchange within the network, and we need it for staking um, to prevent civil attacks. Um, from a token allocation perspective, 45% go to miners, 25% go to investors, and those of you who are sharp will see that it's different from what I just showed in the last slide. That means that we have 10% um, in a secondary offering. Um, we'll have 20% for the founding teams, that's Big Chain DB and DEX, our partner company in Singapore, and 10% for the foundation, and that towards the foundation means to the community. We're gonna airdrop um, with a target of 20,000 data scientists to receive ocean tokens um, and activate the community in that way as well as developers and grants and such like that. We're doing a pre-launch now um, via SAFT with uh, accredited ingressors, so a, sa a safety, um, simple agreement for token exchange, um, uh, particularly in the US and Canada, and we take fiat, Bitcoin, and Ethereum. Uh, we will have a public launch in 2018 for all investors, Ethereum only, and we're deciding between um, guaranteed allotments or something like a reverse Dutch auction. We'll be building the protocol throughout 2018, and then what we'll be doing is launching the network um, in 2019. If you know people who have data and want to share it, please let us know. If you are um, involved with somebody who's uh, doing an AI startup and wants to consume data, let us know. And then also, if you're a developer who wants to build um, products on top of this platform, that's also very interesting for us. Thank you.